You don't have to go to prison to be successful. I just made a lot of wrong choices. Cole, I want to talk to just the 12 or 13 year old, okay? And I want you to go with that and stay in that state of mind. Dude sent me them CDs. Man, there's no lie. When I, when I, I, I probably listened to that, that recession and, and that paper trail probably 30 times back to back. While I'm listening at these CDs, this one I'm actually, I'm putting a story together in my head. And I'm like, man, I'm finna write a goddamn book called A-Town Veteran. I start watching out for the police right here on these corners. Sunset Avenue, Post Lane. That was my, that was my job at 13. I grew up in a drug-related neighborhood, so, you know, and I'm kind of already watching the dope boys. I'm watching the drug dealers. It's kind of like, now nah, I guess I'm in the mindset of what I don't have and what I want. Mm-hmm. I sold a million e-books from prison before I even came home. I never met somebody so driven and so sold out on his dreams. It was soon as we make enough money, I'm out. What's amazing about his story is he really came from humble beginnings. I didn't, you know, I ain't, I ain't had no ball. I was kind of like a hush baby. I had to be a voice in my own ear. There you go. I definitely would have at least tried my best to graduate. Cut, cool, I love it, but my shit was bigger than this. Checkmate. Like, this is something that I really, real life had to go through in this book industry. They hate because they counting them out, you know what I'm saying? We wind up getting his own publishing company. I was just like, hey, he really doing it. For one of Richmond County's most wanted fugitives. You took the fun out of, out of writing for a lot of people. He was telling me, I have to want it. God damn it, you got to want it. You got to want this. I know what it's like to get fucked in a contract. He'll tell you he did it with the pistol. I was a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? But we both wanted to change our life around. I ain't really want nobody to see what's in the book. So I bought all the books. I'm gonna put my best foot forward and make a difference to keep who I can from coming in this motherfucker. You got to put the work in. There's gonna be somebody that's gonna probably see this video, man. And I know it's gonna help some people. What would you have said, or if you would have said anything different to your younger self? Man, that's a good question. <laughs>